Dark Ops. Um, yes, I did. Down in Church and Arsenal. Taiwan will kick us off. Now then, Suzuki showing us a great use of the fuse charges there. Going to send one in that's intended to force Soldier away, but doesn't. Not well timed enough. There you go. You see it? Did timing was off. That is the problem. Soldier, should have been for what's going on in your mind. <laughs> you can, mate. After all this time, I don't so. But up on the counter, so the book can then quite safely do things. But here we come. A nice little push down blue, and Gatorada walks into a first kill. On to Heady. That makes it one for one in the round. Going to just continue hammering bullets down there, Black Ray. <laughs> ah, yes. Everyone's favourite. To hold on, we're going to find one of these classic uh, bloodbaths coming in in Church and Arsenal. Black Ray does manage to find Demick, but the push in mm. is slowed down as Misa finds him in return. Honestly. It just goes back and forward. <laughs> I did call it. It's going to be a bloodbath. Last 15 seconds we come down to. Who can get on top of these kills? Right now it's 2v2. Anaton is able to drop, makes the challenge towards Soldier, but Soldier just keeping himself safe for the time being in behind that cabinet. There's a kill from Marble. It's all up to Anaton now. 1v2. He switches to the pistol. Three seconds so There's patient very little chance of him winning this one out the clock goes down you'd have cyclops step in get a kill talon would get a trade immediate challenge coming in here as black ray has got himself established inside a stock he's going to take this peak and he's going to win it that was clever play from cyclops there just sending the drone in as bait marble goes to take it down and black ray is ready he had absolutely no idea that the thinker was positioned inside of stock black ray Matt. gets taken down by black ray he's had a wonderful round so far two kills to his name and now Demick is the new challenger that wants to step up i just feel here like Tyler committing defenders into an aggressive position where maybe they don't need to. I understand you're a bit nervous about potential nades coming in from below, but by the same token, don't just send one man after the other into a timely death. Demick going to take a ton of damage there as well. Puts him down to about 40 HP. If anything, Cyclops have got um, an overflow of HP right now with the Finker boost uh, doing his yep. job. Gatorada finds Soldier Nitro goes out, does not connect with anybody. Misa manages to get Black Ray 4v2, 4v1 as Misa gets down. It's all up to Demick on Catwalk. It's a power position. It's somewhere you can hold on from, but as soon as they know that that is exactly where he is, he's going to find himself getting challenged. Misa will be finished off, and here come the bullets. They know he's there. <laughs> Meant to retake lounge at that point it's lost you barely hang on to the breach if required you're less bothered about what's going on downstairs at that point you've obviously got to be very wary about getting pushed but i think that's what they're trying to go for with the shield placement i get it into the opening onto misa and he's straight in anderson's charging his way through they know there's one behind the soft wall here but not quite ready to spring forwards two more kills come through and cag have just caught talon completely off guard left a couple of players off site and have now got full control with all five left a lot finding those kills as soon as those aggressive a dirt push it could be oh, a kitchen silly. drop but they got caught out with that last time there's soldier got the opening kill from the same position and you can't allow that to happen twice no i mean you should know really someone's gonna be playing down there right you haven't yet used the gadget because the gadget is what you're relying on a little bit of miscommunication there coming out from talon as well as they double impact up there to deny away the breach oh, dear, that's exactly oh, what starts happening he's got black ray in support but black ray needs to start finding some kills here because otherwise <laughs> Anderton is going to be in big trouble at the minute he's using every ounce of ability as a shield player that he's got one nade goes in down, but goes down Misa. Misa. that is a good start from black ray who's actually rotated to play up on the hatch but Anderton's days were numbered we knew that the wasn't enough of a challenge to support him. Misa might even get collected here. Black Raid does manage to find that final kill. Heady taking damage from his own team's toxic babe canister there, but this battle over blue continues. It's always a meat grinder, like I said last round, Tim. It just feels like there's a massive war that takes place where no one walks out comfortably. Here we go. One more going down. Marble finds that kill. Not even looking the right way. Soldier as Gatorada charges through. They had no idea he was there. Brings it down to a two versus two. A 2v1 for Talon. I get it down to a slither of HP and they've done just port for Anaton. That was the big problem there. It was you had black on the cash side, top of red stairs. They need them holding on. They need to be burning much more time. Heady, much better start. Gonna get the opening kill onto Gatorada there. That's the sledge taken down, and importantly, two out of those six nades gone along with him. It's a big one. I mean, it's not quite the same as losing hard breach, as we saw in the last round being the big issue for them. So just one player to step in through the breach, and here we go. Drone comes out. They know that he's close now as well. They could just go for the swing, but Mises free firing gets one, almost finds the second, but finally gets traded out. In a flurry of kills, we see ourselves now down to a 3v2. 2v2 as Black Ray manages to level it up with a kill onto Heady. Cyclops have got plenty of time here. That is the one thing that they do have in abundance. They've got one. He needs to be careful wherever he goes here. Doesn't want to get himself caught up in a frost mat. That would it's be gone, dangerous. It's been cleared out, of course, but there will be others lurking. Marble just holding an angle, but Iagator manages to beat him on it. And that is now definitely advantage. Cyclops, 30 seconds left to go, and Demick trying to hold on. He's taken up 
exactly the same position as we've just seen the man absolutely removed from as Marble was taken down. Ayagata, however, does have Diffuser in hand and is going to have to cross this line of sight. I felt this is where Dent wants to make a move. Pick up for him, but ultimately he had to rely on Ayagata to get Here comes Anna to pushing up, and there's the yep. danger. The oh, spot. he gets the double team coming in. Out goes the Nitro. That was absolutely brilliant from Talon, but kills come in elsewhere. Maybe too much attention paid to the Monty. They're going to lose Heady. They're going to lose Soldier, and things could get difficult now. 4v3. Call Anaton the sacrificial lamb, right? Because sure, he's gone down there in a very well-defended piece by Talon. Like I said, it's a very thin corridor. You get to the top, the Goya gets popped out, smoke at the bottom. You are dead no matter which way you look at it, because neither of those time out quickly enough for you to be able to tank through both of them. Beautifully done. And again, just goes to show how I don't feel these days. If a Goya and a Smoke are on side, that Monty can really go pushing in through bottlenecks in a map. It just makes it far too risky. So now at least Talon are still down a man. As here comes the push coming through. One coming up behind him as well. Two in towards sight. Cyclops pull that go trigger. And my God, do they go, go, go. They're absolutely clinical in that first part. So well played from Sidi. They are waiting for that aggression coming out of Cyclops. And I like that from Talon. They've recognized the way this first has been played. Are you getting? No, absolutely disgusting headshot on to Hedy. I think there's a little challenge just came in through the garage wall. It opened up a hole. Things are going. Cyclops absolutely in the driving seat this time around. Hedy was their hero last time. Gatorada finding out Demic. And as a Toka, Hedy with him already being down as well at two and seven. Things absolutely not going anywhere near as well as it did last time for this team. Do want to touch again as well on a couple of changes. Marble here is also on the support. They put Misa more into the aggressive role here on the Zofia. So again, seeing those those role changes coming into play could just be a sign that Talon aren't yet fully comfortable with the changes they've made. There's big problems here for Talon. The three versus five and they've still got hatches to option. Inside of Long is just now so secure. Mies is forced to charge in forwards, but they're just ready for it. Kitchen doesn't work out, but the plan was there. And then the Toxic to at least move this clash. And sure enough, you can see it all being used in. They're trying to go from below as well. Unable to find anything, but Mises strikes first. Black round the alibi taken out. A good start for Talon. Uh, they need to build on that. They need to work from there. They've got soldiers still underneath with the vertical nage. Just looking, I think, waiting for information. If they can get the clash with one, then it's absolutely perfect for oh. them. Ayagata. God, you must be joking. You could have oh. literally one-tapped his head. I think he was on a drone. Like Ayagata's <laughs> laughing. I think he knows. He knows. He knows. He knows he's whiffed an absolute freebie there. Too easy, though, for Gatarada as the Flores tries to jump in through the window. They just haven't dealt with Gatarada here. They've put... Drones in there, they've spraying. tried to move him around. They still can't deal with Anaton. Soldier gets a kill. Gatorada keeps fighting. Anaton's just locked in the corner at the minute. They're doing everything they can to get around here. It was surely a matter of time. You've got a shield in front of your face. There's no worry about a team kill there. There's two level to think you'll see more headshots than not, or at least a significant number of headshots compared to what you may be seeing ranked. The extra kind of sponginess that gives you as the Rook, I don't think is a bad thing. I get a lucky to escape there, and Black Ray has the cover for him, managing to find a kill onto Soldier, giving Cyclops summation that they needed. Hedy can now go in and make a challenge, ah. but they're aware <laughs> Ayagata can move here and they can just dip back and live to fight another day. Ayagata instead is going to get aggressive, try to take the challenge on, and he wins <laughs> it. That's an important one. It leaves him on top of the hatch. Five versus three now. Going to be very difficult for them to get in. They're going to have to go deeper with this. They can't plant on stage. Hedy was the difference maker there. He had to stay alive and have that cover, but he's gone aggressive and paid the price against Ayagata who swung him. The timeout to try and fix and amend things, and sure. So he's got Anaton in support. So so they should be able to move away. But the question is, can Talon get themselves into a position quickly enough to prevent him moving oh, back oh, down? Oh, gets on. an absolute freebie to kick things off. I think he nearly goes for Ayagata then, not realising necessarily it was his teammate, but they avoid any disaster, and they are now five versus four. Des, he's absolutely wedged. And But look at the time he's still wasting. They're still down to basically nothing. And here we go on the push outside. No, Sees no, the man. No. He doesn't know where to go. Left, right, left, right. Finally gets put down inside and meat. Hung up on the hooks for the boys to enjoy later. Cannibalism ain't cool, okay? Now going for the hatch as well. Marbles in, but they can deny this one away. Come in the form of winning gunfights. It's as simple as that. They just have to get in there and try and hope that they come out on top. 14 seconds left to go. This is as classic as it gets to church and Arsenal. Cyclops have done a great job of wasting time. And here we go. Misa, he goes in, gets one. Soldier gets one as well. Somehow they were doing it, but it's now 2v2. Heady's got an opportunity to put the diffuser down, but he's got to stick this. Got he's unlikely to win. He's in a pinch. There we go. He secures the diffuser plant, but it will be the...